All right, thanks for watching. And today we would like to calculate the ith power of a matrix. So when people tell you, hey, you got to study AI, this is what they mean. They mean A to the ith power. More specifically, consider the matrix A to be minus 4, 10, minus 3, 7, and let's try to calculate A to the i with this matrix. And just as is usual with matrices, let's just calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So first let's do the eigenvalues, so let's do A minus lambda i, the determinant, no, <laughs> that's the determinant of minus 4 minus lambda, 10 minus 3, 7 minus lambda, and that becomes minus 4 minus lambda, 7 minus lambda, and then minus minus, which becomes plus, the whiteboard is weird today, so plus 30, and then that becomes, let's say, minus 28, so 4 lambda minus 7 lambda, so minus 3 lambda, plus lambda squared, plus 30, which simplifies to lambda squared minus 3 lambda plus 2, which I believe is just, of course, using the potion law method, we get that lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 2. And if you set it equal to 0, you get lambda equals 1 or lambda equals 2. And then for every eigenvalue, you have to find the corresponding eigenvector. And just for simplicity, let me just do it for the first eigenvalue. And then I'll, sh I'll tell you what the result is for the second one. So let's do null space of A minus I. So that's the null space of. So you plug in 1 for lambda. So I think minus 5, 10, minus 3, 6 which then you can row reduce and simplify to the null space of 1 minus 2, 0, 0. And then just think which combination would give you 0. Well, 2 times 1 plus 1 times minus 2 is 0. So it's a span of a 2, 1. So for the eigenvalue 1, you get the vector 2, 1. And for the eigenvalue 2, you get the vector 5, 3. I did it with my mind. I did not look at my notes at all. Okay, so what do we have? So we have that this matrix then, that we want to, you know, ith power it, uh, equals, so minus 4, 10, minus 3, 7, that then equals to 2, 1, 5, 3, and then the eigenvalues, 1, 0, 0, 2, and then 2, 5, 1, 3, inverse. So this is the matrix, and the question is, what is the ith power? Very easy, just as is usual in those problems. You just put an i on the diagonal entries. Because remember, to square a matrix, you just square the diagonal entries, to do E of a matrix, you E the diagonal entries, and why not the same with the ith power? Why not? And so in particular, what we get, 2, 5, 1, 3, 1 to the i, at least taking the principal value, we get 1, 0, 0, 2 to the i, and then the inverse of that, luckily, the determinant is 1, so it's just 3, 2, minus 5, minus 1, which, of course, raises the question, what is 2 to the i? Well, here's a trick. Notice 2 to the i. 2 is e to the ln of 2. So if you raise it to the ith power, you just multiply this by i. But then, by Euler's formula, this just becomes cosine of ln of 2 plus i sine of ln of 2. In other words, what does this become? You just replace 2 to the i with this gibberish. So we get, and again, this is pretty long, 2, 5, 1, 3, 1, 0, 0, cosine of ln of 2, plus i sine of ln of 2. It's a sign for you to continue watching this. 3 minus 5 minus 1, 2. 
And then you expand this out. Oh boy, we get 2513. The top is still the same, so there's 3 and minus 5. But the bottom is different, so 3 and then minus cosine of ln of 2 minus i sine of ln of 2. And believe it or not, I should have done that bigger. So minus 5. And then, so 0 and then 2 cosine of ln of 2. cosine of ln of 2, and then, uh, I believe, plus 2i. Even bigger, <laughs> plus 2i sine of ln of 2. But wait, there's more, because you also have to multiply this out. <laughs> Makes me think I should have just written 2 to i. Would have been easier. But anyway, and then what we get? We get 6 and then minus 5 cosine of ln of 2, okay? and then minus 5 sine of ln of 2i, okay? and then we get minus 10, sorry, that's 6 and this, and then minus 10, plus 10 cosine of ln of 2, plus 10 sine of ln of 2i, I wonder if people can even decipher this. And then 3 minus 3 cosine of ln of 2 minus 3 sine of ln of 2 i and then minus 5 plus 6 cosine of ln of 2 plus 6 sine of ln of 2 times i. <laughs> Okay, Woo. and this, at the end, is our answer. So this is the i-th power of our matrix. So this is minus 4, 10, and minus 3, 7 to the i-th power. So that's what you get. Holy moly. Now, of course, this is... A random formula who says I'm right or not but I am right because let me now give you an application so what should a to the i satisfy well what happens now if you take this to the i-th power so let's take a to the i to the i that becomes minus 410 minus 37 to the i to the i-th power and now let's just use the diagonal matrices that's a bit easier 2, 5, uh, 1, 3. And then remember, this was 1 to the i, 0, 0, uh, 2 to the i. No, no, sorry. <laughs> okay. And then that becomes, so 1 to the i, 0, 0, 2 to the i, a 3, 5, so 3, 2, and then minus 5, minus 1. Okay. Well, but now what we want to do, we want to put this to another i-th power. So all you do, you put another i on the diagonal terms. So this becomes 2, 5, 1, 3, 1 to the i, to the i, so i, i, captain, 2 to the i, to the i, and then 3 minus 5 minus 1, 2. And here's the thing, 1 to the i to the i, that is 1 to the minus 1. So 2, 5, 1, 3, 1 to the minus 1, which is 1, 0, 0, 2 to the minus 1, 3, minus 5, minus 1, 2, but 2 to the minus 1, that is 1 half. And I'm sure you see it coming, so we get 2, 5, 1, 3. And then 3 minus 5 minus 1 half, and then 1. And let's multiply that out. So I believe 6 minus 5 halves, that becomes 7 halves. Minus 10 plus 5, that's minus 5. 
and that is 3 minus 3 halves, that's 3 halves, and then minus 5 plus 3, that is minus 2, and that is, again, a to the i to the i. On the other hand, let's calculate a inverse. Why not? Uh, so a inverse of this matrix, so minus 4, 10, minus 3, 7, inverse, so the determinant is 1 half, sorry, the determinant is 2, so you do 1 half of 7 minus 4 minus 10, 3, and what we get, lo and behold, 7 halves minus 5, 3 halves minus 2. And look, it's the same answer as here. So indeed, what is this a to the i? It satisfies that the ith power to the ith power is the negative first power, so just the inverse of A. How cool is that? All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.